Hi everyone, I hope you all are doing good. In today's video, I am going to discuss a very interesting and most asked Java interview question comparable versus comparator. I'll also explain when to use comparable versus when to use comparator by writing a Java code. To understand this, let's take an example. Suppose we have a mobile class and in this class we have defined three attributes ID, name and quantity and also we have constructor and we have getter and setters for these three attributes and also we have overrided two string method to print the object representation right so uh, this is a very simple class and till now everything is sorted right so let's move to uh, this test class in which we have created three objects of the mobile class one is nokia samsung and iphone and here i have passed some dummy values for the id name and quantity attribute quantity field right and then i have added this objects in a list so now we have list of mobiles and then i have simply printed this list so let me run it so that we are sure everything is fine at this point so till this point everything is fine now the next thing we want to do is we want to sort this list of mobiles and how we can sort this we can pass them in a collections dot sort and i am passing this mobile list but wait it's not accepting this list because sort method does not know how to sort this list of mobiles right so in i mean if i open this class so in this class we have three attributes id name and quantity and while sorting this object so which attribute does it consider i mean whether it sort based on id whether it sort based on name or whether it sort based on quantity i mean which attribute it consider so we have to explicitly tell them on which basis it needs to sort them right and to solve this problem java provided two interfaces one is comparable and the another is comparator right so before moving to comparable and comparator let's open this sort method and if you see uh, see if you know about the generics so i mean it expect either the class has implemented this comparable interface or it has passed the comparator i mean so that it knows basically which attribute it consider while sorting this list i mean list of mobile right so let let's first see the comparable interface how by implementing the comparable interface we can solve this problem let's implement the comparable interface so let me write comparable and it is of type so uh, here we pass the generics and uh, basically it represent what kind of object we are comparing so it is of type mobile right now when we implement when we implement comparable interface we have to define or you can say implement its compare to method so if i say let add an implemented method and see uh, uh, just one minute add unimplemented method and here uh, we have the compare to method and if i open this interface let's say comparable you can see uh, in this interface we have only one method which is compare to and we have to return the int value and based on which it determines the sorting order right and what it expects i mean what it expects in return so we have to return a negative zero or a positive integer so it compares the current object with the object we pass and 
based on the positive negative or zero value it determines whether the object we are comparing is greater than less than or equal to right so let's implement it this so basically i mean this is the object we are comparing with the current object and how we can access the current object we can access the current object which is uh, using this so we are sorting based on the id right so here i take the id if it is greater than let's say this then simply return any positive value so i am returning one so it represent that the current object is greater else if this dot id is less than the past of past object id it means it is less than so return minus one and then we return in default case we return zero it represent it is equal to right so let me just we are returning positive zero or negative value and it indicates object being compared is greater than equal or less than the object being passed as an argument so now we have defined the compare to method so here you also noticed one thing that we are only defining the criteria for sorting the objects criteria means what output we are expecting we are expecting that the objects are arranged based on the id i mean in ascending order right and we are not defining any sorting algorithm here it is taken care by the java itself now define after defining the compare to let's go back to the test class and let's do collections dot sort and then let's pass mobile list and after that let's print this list and if i run this so let me run it so this is the original order i mean so i have added in a list and after sorting this is the order so you see uh, in this output it is arranged in an ascending order by id so we have sorted the list of object based on the id so we can also reduce this code by simply doing return this dot id minus o dot id we don't need uh if uh, these if else conditions why because let's say if the current object the value of current object id is four five and the past object is four so it returns positive value right if it's the reverse case it returns the negative value else if it's equal it returns the zero right similarly let's say if it is se seven and this so the the so we are comparing the current object with the past object as an argument so let's say the value uh, the id value of the current object is seven and from this we get three so we have the positive value right similarly if it's uh, if it's reverse then we have negative or if it is equal then we have the zero so uh, this would also do the same thing so if i run it again here here is our output which is similar now we can also modify it further using this integer dot compare where i just simply pass o dot id uh, sorry this dot id we are comparing with current object with the past object o dot id and now let me run again right so now we have explored uh, these two alternatives here and if you read its documentation it is also doing the same thing so this is all about the comparable 
now let's uh, discuss few points here now suppose uh, in in this class we have i mean we have defined that we want to sort this object based on id but let's say in some scenario we have to sort this list by name also and by quantity also so let's say uh, let's suppose uh, we have to sort this by name or maybe by quantity so let's take quantity so we we define quantity here and then we run this code and it is sorted by the quantity so 2 then 5 then 40 but if in in future suppose uh, we have some business logic where in some part we are sorting based on id in some we are sorting based on name or in some we are sorting based on quantity so by using this comparable it's not possible to define three sorting criteria at a time we can only define one way to sort the objects right this is the one limitation now the second is suppose instead of so this is the mobile class we have created in our code but assume we are using third party library uh, from there we have some class and here we have created the object of that class and then we have to sort those object based on certain criteria right uh, let's say based on on certain attributes but as we are using the library i mean it's not possible to change their code it's not possible to just go there and implement comparable and then define the sorting criteria so to cater these limitations we have comparator interface and let's see how we can uh, define the sorting uh, criteria using comparator and how we can uh, pass them in in the sort method in case of comparator we don't need to change the class as compared to comparable interface uh, where class needs to implement the comparable interface and implements its compare to method right so comparator is defined externally for example let's say we have to sort the list of objects based on the id so by using comparator i can uh, create one class let's say id comparator which implements the comparator and here uh, the compare method so we have to implements the compare method so in comparable we implements the compare to whereas in comparator we are implementing compare right and it accepts it takes two arguments two objects and it returns an integer value which tells which of the two objects are larger right so the positive value indicate the first object was greater than the second the zero indicates both objects are equal and the negative indicate the first object was smaller than the second similarly like id we can define a different comparator let's say i have to also sort based on the name based on the quantity so i can define the name comparator i can define the quantity comparator right after defining the comparator let's say let's move to the test class and now while sorting this list i simply pass this id comparator so while sorting based on the name i can pass the name comparator while sorting based on the quantity i can simply pass the quantity con comparator and if i run this let's say so the first this one is sorted by the id so the objects are arranged in sorted order based on the id similarly here you can see it's arranged based on the name okay iphone then nokia then samsung and here it's arranged based on the quantity so 2 5 and 40 so now uh, here uh, we have created separate class for each comparator you can also create i mean if you are using java 8 or higher you can simply use the lambda if you are using let's say jdk 8 9 or its higher version 
where you can simply i mean you can reduce the verbosity by simply using this lambda expression i mean uh, lambda itself is a big topic i can explain this topic separately but you can see the code is reduced in a single line right and it is also doing the same thing it it's sort based on the uh, let's say id so if i comment this code or let's say if i keep as it is and if i run this code and see you can see the difference here it is sorted based on the id so this is the difference between the comparable and comparator and i, I hope you understood uh, the difference between these two uh, terms very well so let's quickly summarize what we have learned in this video so far let's see the difference between these two interfaces comparable and comparator so in comparable we can only sort the collection on the basis of single attribute so so if you recall in our mobile class we have three attributes id name and quantity but at a one time we can only use one attribute because in comparable uh, we implements the compare to method in our class and in compare to we can only define the sorting sequence at any one of the attributes at a time right whereas com in comparator we can sort the collection on the basis of multiple attributes so we can either uh, define the sorting sequence based on id name or uh, quantity now uh, the ne next difference is in case of comparable original ca class is modified because we need to implement the comparable and we need to define their compare to method and in comparator comparator is defined externally so we don't need to modify the original class so the third one is in comparable we have the compare to method to sort the elements and in comparator we have the compare method to sort the elements while sorting the list using comparable we can simply pass the list in collections dot sort and in case of comparator we have to pass the list along with the comparator so the comparable is the part of java dot lang package it's just for the information whereas in uh, where as the comparator is the part of the java util package so that's it for this video tutorial and i hope you like this video if you like this video please share this video with your friends colleague and if you have not subscribed this youtube channel please subscribe this channel thank you thank you for watching this video